I'm going to be testing out this new sleeping bag from Robins. It's the, if I can get all the labels out of the way, can you see it there? It's the Robins Icefall 600. Oh, Icefall Pro 300, sorry. I got that wrong. No, Icefall, hey, look at this. You don't often spot this. Icefall Pro 600, which I was expecting. And the label says, Icefall Pro 300. So always really check the, check the bag. Right, so, um, yeah, so sleeping bag. This is a um, four season sleeping bag, comfort down to minus one. Um, and it weighs just over a kilo. It's not too big. You put this in your backpack. Um, and something this size, you think maybe this is a down sleeping bag. Um, uh, maybe down bags would be slightly slightly smaller, but it's um, it's compressed quite well. Now you probably already know what down is. So so why is down so popular with um, winter sleeping bags and winter coats? Well, you know down is the really lightweight, fluffy fur that is like the un under fur, feathers, fluffy feathers that, that you get on geese and ducks. It's the under, under feathers. Um, and it's sort of nature as he invented this, has invented or has, has evolved this to um, be really, really high insulating. It traps, it traps little pockets of air in there. So it, it makes it really, really, um, a really good insulator. So that's why it's very popular, but of course um, you've got to harvest it from the ducks and the geese. And no matter where you stand on that, um, on the ethics of that, you can get um, a lot of products these days are um, ethically approved down um, products. Or this jacket, this is a down jacket, but it's using recycled down that had previously been used in bags and other jackets. So, so there's been no additional harvesting um, of that, but regardless of where you stand on the sort of the ethics of the down, um, it's no doubt that down is very expensive because it has to be harvested um, and all these little small um, feathers uh, collected. So, why is down still so popular when they're synthetic materials? Well, there's really, really good synthetic materials out there. Um, the problem is, is that they tend to be more bulky, heavier and don't compress as well as down. Well, they can actually compress really well, but they don't uncompress. The, the feathers in down seem to naturally want to spring back out and synthetic materials find it a little bit harder to, to do that. So um, down still being very popular, but of course the quest has been on to um, get a synthetic replacement. Down does have its downsides as well. Um, if it gets wet, it just becomes a soggy mush. Now, obviously getting wet on geese and ducks is what it does, and it works perfectly well for the geese and ducks. But when you take it off the geese and ducks and put it in a sleeping bag or a coat and it gets all wet, so sodden, it will get really, really, you know, just like a mush. It won't insulate the same at all. Um, they have treated uh, down with a waterproof, you make the hydrophobic so the water it doesn't, um, doesn't absorb so much into the down, which is partially works, but it's not quite as good as some of the man-made stuff that can be completely water repellent. Um, so this is a new technology in this sleeping bag. It's not down, it's synthetic. And um, I felt a sample of one of these and it does feel like down. You can, if you squeeze and rub the down, you can almost feel the, the nature of it and the springiness of it. Um, but this is using thermo micro ball, new technology, and uh, oh, it's got a little label of it there. But it's, um, yeah, so basically this is a synthetic material, but it behaves very much like down. Um, with the, the way the fibers have been constructed is that they can compress and expand out. So it has got a lot of insulation properties of down in, in, in um, trapping little pockets of air that will, will keep you warm. Um, but it can compress down quite well. So this is in some of the new Robins range, this new technology, and um, 
it's the it's in the Icefall sleeping bag, which for all intents and purposes looks like a down sleeping bag. Um, acts like a down sleeping bag. Oh. And has got a separate bag with it. I wasn't expecting that. Icefall Pro. Okay, so we've got a stuff sack and we've got a separate bag. Let's just get the bag. Now, one of the things with down as well is it can take a lot of abuse. It can, it can be, you know, compressed, uncompressed, compressed, uncompressed, compressed, uncompressed. And so down can last a long time. Um, whereas synthetic materials, they only crest so much, they don't spring back so well. So I think time will tell, obviously, with using this, this, this product, but it's um, a real sort of extreme sleeping bag. Um, there's a number of things that I wanted to do earlier in the year, unfortunately, um, we couldn't because of COVID, but I'm still going to use this. Well, when it's not too warm, it is a winter sleeping bag. So you get an idea of the extreme goes down to minus 14. Um, comfort limit 6 degrees, so you not above 6. It's going to be quite warm, I think. It's, it's, not too, it's not too warm, actually, at the moment, but it might be a bit warm for, the, for uh, this bag at the moment. But yeah, so a number of things, and it, it packs down into backpack, so we're going to do more backpacking and bike packing if we can uh, if we can fit that in if there's no more lockdowns and things so um yeah so you see it's got a zip right down the middle it looks real like a, a real sort of arctic polar uh, bag and you see how i've just got this out of that little stuff sack and it's already filled out like a, a huge um huge bag box section down in the toe and the zip going all the way down to the bottom um and you've got the hood around the top here and the baffles and it's uh, it is it's just like it's just sprung out you, you you can't unfortunately you can't feel this on the video but but that the, the springiness of this does really feel like down um it, it's it's so yes it's going to be an interesting test on this 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 is already um i'm really impressed how this is already um um come out it's got drying loops obviously on the bottom if you need to hang it out and clean um zip the zip down the middle is is not you see so many uh sleeping bags especially family uh camping sleeping bags have the zips down the side and the whole thing works like a, a duvet this is more of a mummy bag um obviously going to keep you uh, nice and um warm in the colder months but with the zip down the middle it, it's 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 a little bit more practical because when you're sitting in bed you can sit in there there you can unzip it and you can sit up and the thing's still insulating you whereas a side one is not quite they're not quite the same so i'm going to give this a go um see i want to use this quite a bit for quite a few um expeditions and trips and things we've got planned um especially when the winter gets cold again say so, wish you could have used it earlier in the year but like so many things, uh, unfortunately, we all had to, because um, of COVID, we all had to adjust our plans and uh, quite sensibly too. So, yeah, just having a look around here, You've got drawstrings on the inside on this um, here as well to pull that in, to bring that in right. So you've got a big baffle, look, just look at this, a baffle here, this bit goes round your neck. My head's on the other side, <laughs> but yeah, it'll go round your neck. So you can bring that in as well. That's going to keep some heat in round your body. No way they're going to show you showing this too well on the video but you can see in there this baffle here so your head's down in, in your head's inside here and you've got that that goes round your neck um, keeps the heat in and I think I saw some round the waist here yes so there's a also uh, this little toggle you push in to put it in and adjust it put it out that way um, but you could tighten it around the waist too. Um, let me turn it inside out just to see what's the inside like on this. Yeah, that's box section down the toes. All the way down the bottom. So we've got it turned inside out and there's a label at the bottom. Um, yeah, so you've got a few of those drawstrings in there to gonna keep it warm. You've got nice, nice extra layers around the zip, double sided on that, so double-sided baffles on that so you're not going to lose heat through the zip area um, yes yeah, feels feels like a pucker thing this um, it's already puffed up like a huge puffer jacket 
quite a bit of padding in the uh, in the hood as well, and a uh, drawstring on the outside to bring the hood in around your head. So, if you are out camping in really cold weathers, um, I mean, this is comfort minus. It goes down down below minus um, one. Oh wait, minus one. You can obviously go colder than that. Um, that's the comfort limit range. But yeah, so you can pull this in round you and make yourself very warm. In fact, it's quite warm actually just sitting here with it. So I'm going to give that a try um, tonight and uh, I'm going to keep um, using it quite a bit because I think it's obviously over time, longer term test on these some things, you really sort of find out some of this stuff that that zip does up really nice actually. Sometimes zips snag, don't they, on sleeping mags and it can be really, really nice. That's just nice and smooth. Um, so yes, so so far I'm very impressed with this uh, sleeping mag. So it's not down, um, but it's got a lot of down properties. Um, so if you're, you know, if you're looking for a winter sleeping bag and you think, do I go synthetic or do I go down? Obviously, I think a lot depends on what you're doing. Um, down's going to be lighter and pack smaller, easier to get into your backpack than many synthetic materials. But new ones like this Robens um, microthermo ball technology uh, are going to be bridging that gap now. Um, you're going to get uh, smaller sizes, packs, lighter packs with synthetic material, and you won't have to worry so much about uh, what happens if it gets waterlogged. Obviously, you don't want your bag getting wet. You want to stuff it if you're going hiking. You want to put it in a decent dry bag anyway. Um, but it's one less thing to worry about. Um, so yeah. Looking forward to, to getting a good night's sleep in this bag tonight and uh, so far it's getting the thumbs up. Okay, we just pack it up and um, now I've used this bag, this sleeping bag, this Robins Icefall Pro 600 now for um, a few nights and um, please report that it does what it says and it is an extremely warm bag. It's not been too warm here, we've had to have the heater on, uh, it's been quite cold at night but I've uh, had this unzipped as well because it is very warm and cosy. Um, it doesn't take too long once you get in it for it to be insulating and warming you up. Um, and yeah, it's very lofty. I adjusted the baffles and got that all tight, tried those out and they work really well. They say soon get very hot, <laughs> so uh, I unzipped some of that. So it's um, no, I've got no worries about uh, keeping warm um, camping with this bag. Say so like to get away and do some bike packing and, 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 and things like that this year, but it all depends on everything else. Everything's been delayed by almost half a year. So see what we can fit in, but um, yeah, so I'm going to continue using it. Um, any issues or anything I will update, but it's certainly a bag I'm going to be using quite a lot um, to, to yeah, really put it to the test. But uh, so far, it definitely gets the thumbs up. Just packing this bag away, and I'm using the outer mesh, put it in that first. Um, and you can see the size of it there. And then it's going to go squish down to that little pack size. And there we are. Now it's back in its stuff sack. And you wouldn't believe that big sleeping bag has gone down into, into something. It's quite a bit bigger than my hand, but not too much bigger. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? 